Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the stained glass playing cards from Collectible Playing Cards. Uh, this was a Kickstarter, it was a successful Kickstarter uh, brought to you by the good people down at Collectible Playing Cards, which is headed up by Mike Geisteles. Uh, this deck kind of pays tribute to the artwork that gets put into stained glass windows, and so you're going to find that uh, throughout this deck. Uh, the front of the tuck case simply says bicycle, stained glass playing cards down there in the bottom, and it has kind of like a, a black framework so that the uh, font isn't lost in all the colors. Because as you can see on the side, the print gets a little lost when it's put against that background. It says air cushion finish right there. And then United States Playing Card Company there on the other side. There's some ad copy about collectible playing cards down there at the bottom, and then an original tuck seal at the very top. Of course, the back design of the tuck case is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on their retail stock. Now, these cards measure in on a caliper with 10 card thickness at 2.99, almost 3.0. Now a standard deck of bikes, 10 cards, measures on a caliper at about 2.82, 2.83. So these cards are a little thicker, almost bordering on casino grade thickness. Now what would make these cards thicker than a standard deck? Well, primarily ink impact. You got a lot of ink that's on the back of these cards and on the faces with the black. Um, and so that can always contribute to making cards thicker. Uh, there's also just the compression process when they, they go through the compressor, when they receive their air cushion embossing, and that of course can make them uh, thicker or thinner depending on how that process goes as well. These cards do have air cushion finish and they are done with a modern cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design of the card really does look like uh, a glass window in a church. You got a circular design there and it kind of acts like a kaleidoscope and it really sets the tone for the entire deck and these look great in a fan. You can also see that there's a really nice thin black border and the faces of the cards are black as well which makes hidden cards work really well for magic tricks. For this deck you're going to get two extras. You're going to get your double backer for magicians which is always nice and you're going to get a collectible playing cards ad card as well. With this deck you're going to get two original jokers. Uh, they're both pretty identical other than the fact that they're colored a little differently. Uh, one primarily has purple or a, kind of an indigo highlight and the other one is more of a red, almost borderline pinkish color. Now all the cards in this deck are completely customized and as you can see they have a design on both sides. So not just the back design but the front is also done in this kaleidoscope effect. Um, with that said, um, even though I'm showing these cards to you a little quickly, you can see that the fonts and the pips, um, they have a little bit of an issue standing out. I mean, yeah, if you focus in on the white pips, you can see them pretty clearly, but uh, I think in gameplay, uh, Especially if look at these diamonds, you got like hard lined edges against hard lined edges. It's kind of hard to see. So maybe in gameplay people would be like, you know, oh well, I can tell the difference or I can't tell the difference. But for magic, these probably wouldn't be the best as, you know, it's you'd, you'd show the person to say this is your card and they don't have that strong recognition that this is the five of diamonds, right? So it would probably take them a bit. So I don't know that these would work great for magicians. I think these more uh, appeal to collectors and people that are into uh, playing card art. The court cards are all completely standard, however they are done in the same uh, motif, uh, both in color and in presentation, but it does make for a really attractive card. All right, so that is my review for the stained glass cards from Collectible Playing Cards. This deck was generously provided to us by the great people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies, and if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic dealers. Thanks, bye.